G'day guys, welcome back. So take two with the Chroma A2 paints. Uh, I will show you again the one that I am trying to recreate, this one here. This was done quite a while ago before I learnt a lot about flip and drag. So my cells aren't as good as my cells that I've been doing recently. But it's the colours that I'm going for. Um, I'll just show you some of my, these are sort of more my recent cells. They, I guess they're a little bit smaller, but they're more round. So those, I do prefer the cells that are smaller that are more round than the sort of oblong ones that um, you get with a slightly thinner mix. This one really really busy this was quite a thin mix um, and you can see how the cells have all bumped into each other there's not much background so i don't really like that i mean it's still pretty it's just a different look i do prefer some background so going with these colors but with a different brand of paint because those ones these ones were with global paints uh, this was before they started splitting see i've used the navy in there with the white and no splitting so let's try the chroma. Now these paints, I've mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint and I've used the 70% glue, glue all in this case, and 30% water. The only one I had to add a bit of water to was this red because it was really thick. It still feels really thick. Um, it does. I might have to add just a touch more water. See, that's what I did on the last pour, and it was too, too thin. This one does feel much thicker than the others. It's funny how the reds are like that. Yeah. I'll give this a stir, and I'll show you the consistency. If I'm using school glue, Elmer's school glue, this is how thick I would use it. The different glues do tend to make a difference. Look at that. See the, it's a really big mound. Kind of builds up on itself leaves a ribbon so i'm hoping that my colors will stay more true and not blend as much with this thicker mix and i'm going to two cups as well which means i can um, have thicker layers of color so three drops in each i've gone 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams uh, 60 grams of pouring medium 30 grams of paint, which is two ounces of pouring medium and one ounce of paint, two to one. The blue and the yellow, I actually had to add an extra blob of paint to bring them to the same consistency as my yellow and orange, uh, my orange and the red. So the blue and the yellow, I had to add paint. The red and the orange, I had to add just a little smidge of water. Actually, I don't think I did the orange. No, it was just the red. Yep. Okay. Um, I've changed this one. I've made it slightly more blue. And hopefully it'll be all right. The previous pour, I had that and that together, but I'm going to see how that these two go together. Still really, really frothy. Because I only just made them. See how that long that takes to slide down the side of the cup. I'm just going to do this. It's going to lie on top of the other colour. You can do this. You can drizzle it in. Doesn't matter whichever way you want to do it. And I liked what I did last time. How I didn't have the the lines between my two cups. So I'm going to do that again flip in sort of a mishmash kind of a way so I don't get those dividing lines like I usually do. I don't mind that when I'm doing my flip and drags. I don't mind getting the lines because then I'm after stripes. But if I'm just after just a plain background, I don't really want the stripes right down the centre because everything else is a nice blurred background and then you have this 
strike right through the center. So I'm trying to avoid that and seeing how that goes. You can see how thick it is. It's taking a long time to pour down the side of the cup. As I said, I would never have it this thick if I was using global paints. Um, these paints work, well, they seem to work exactly the same way as when I'm using the school glue. They stay thick and sticky, which is a bit strange, but that's just how they are. Um, yeah, I'll go with this. What does turquoise and red do? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. No, it's looking a bit, a bit icky. But I'm only doing two layers, so hopefully my colours will stay nice and bright. That'll do. I won't put any more in. Mm, let's put some orange next to that one, just for a change. And then top it off with the yellow. Feels really weird having such thick paints. It just doesn't feel right having them so thick. It's like custard. Yellow custard. <laughs> it does, it's really thick. This feels bizarre. Look, it might not work. I might waste all this paint, but I'm going to give it a go anyway because I just felt that my last one, my paints were a bit too thin. I'll flip these over and then I'll tell you about my colours. Um, I was going to show you the one I did before, but it's under the table. It's wet. Righto. Phthalo blue. Cadmium yellow light. Cadmium scarlet. I didn't want a bright red. I wanted more of an orange red. So I have got this red red, which is alizarin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Alizarin crimson. So it's quite different in colour. But I wanted more orangey, so I've gone with this cadmium scarlet. And then we have cadmium orange and of course titanium white okay paint behave do your thing now this one I'm kind of just going to push into that one end up tipping all that off but let's do some corners as well because I'm not putting a base coat on this time I didn't see any benefit of it um, I'd rather just have some paint on the corner if there's anything left at all not much nice and thick Looks as if it's staying, it's not blending too much. We will see. And I am going to tilt a little bit this time before I torch. I don't have to worry too much about losing my stripies, you know, about keeping my straight lines because you can't see where that those two cups joined, can you? So, woohoo! Right, now I'll torch. Jeez, a lot of blue here. I hope there's some cells under that, all that blue. Like turquoise blue. Lots of bubbles popping. Oops. It's very reactive. See, I got a bit close there. Look at that. The 
Let's keep the heat nice and high up. You can slowly travel down and penetrate that thick paint. Bring the oil up to the surface. Do it nice and slowly. But you look at all the little specks. See, I don't like that. But that's that's because my paint was just mixed and it's so frothy. I don't get that with Global. Um, I don't think I got it with the Montmartre, but I certainly am getting it with this paint. But I'm just testing it. If, if it doesn't work, then you know I'm I'm not going to get any more of it. I only got the little little pots to see how it went. I'll give it a go. If I don't like it, I just won't buy any more, eh? Easy. Whoa, got too close there. I'm going to have to tip, tip that off. Toot, toot. Alright, let me pause. Posties here. I wish you wouldn't toot. Alright. Got me a parcel. What's in it? I'll open it in a minute. Certainly wouldn't be paint related, would it? Never. All right, a little bit more torching. Just in the middle, just about there. I want a few cells there. I don't want to get too close, so I'm just going really gently. See the cells that have popped up have grown. Again, same as they did in the last pour, kind of bumping into each other again. I don't particularly like that type of cell, as I've told you before, and it must just be that this paint, even though it looks so thick in the cup, when it's when it pours out, it just stays quite mobile. I guess it just moves a lot. go to this corner here and I need to get rid of some of this it's just it's just too much for me too busy and the paint is rolling over itself this time because I don't have the white base coat come back side okay take that around there so I don't drip let's go to this corner it does make it easier if you can pop a little bit of paint on that corner because it's that tiny little edge of the corner there that makes it it's difficult to get to that last little section so I just pop a little bit of paint on the corner okay shoot oh there's a fly go away get out of my paint go back around this way since I'm already facing that way done with less paint. I think I had about 600 grams. I usually have between five and 600 grams for this size canvas. It's so sticky. It's just, just weird. Colours are phenomenal, you know, better than my when I use my global paints, colours are just, as I said, phenomenal, but it just feels so thick and sticky and my cells aren't that nice round shape that I like. And it's not that they're fuzzy, it's just that they're kind of joining into each other. Now I might get rid of some of that yellow down there. If I have to lose anything, I'd rather it be down there because I've got a lot of the yellow. And then come this way. 
into the corner. Back again. Okay. done the same thing stretched up here same as it did with the previous pull even though I made it a little bit thicker so that that wouldn't happen it's not as bad and I can move the paint around really quite easily and the, the cells are, are staying staying where they should stay so what do you think This blue that I've changed, it's not so green, so it's actually, I think it's prettier. I just don't like, I just don't like the cells. So, I don't think I will be buying any more of this, of the Chroma. I prefer the, um, what was it called? The Montmartre. I'm just going to run this under here, and then I'll take you in for a close-up. I'm not going to torch again. I can't see the benefit of torching again. Um, all it's going to do is pop some more tiny little bubbles. And I don't need any more little tiny <coughs> bubbles. Take some of that orange. Just put it there. And a little bit of that blue can just sit there. I think that's done. I think I've covered everything. Right. Let me go around and look at it from your side. You know what I am liking though? The fact that you can't see where my two cups joined. I'll just take these. Look at that. Take these off and then I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you one of my others. Um, which one can I show you? Oh, I've just got one here behind. These aren't exactly good paws or anything. <laughs> but you can see the stripe down the middle. So you can see where the two cups were. The stripe down the middle see where the two cups were wow it's bright isn't it it's gorgeous that's for sure um yeah so the one that i've got under the table drying at the moment let me get him out so he was you can see the difference oh i hope i don't drip on this one I'll show you real quick Okay, so there's a lot more orange and a bit more greeny in that, and the cells aren't as good. Um, they're a bit, a bit more wobbly. All right, I'm just washing my hands here. So I do prefer this one with two parts pouring medium, one part paint. Um, and as I said, I only had to put a little bit of water in that red because it was so thick. And I've kept my mix thicker on this one. Maybe I don't need to take you down. I can just, just zoom you in up here. That'll work, won't it? There we go. That'll work. So, um, as far as experiments go with this chroma paint, I'm in the light. Let me get out of the light. There we go. There's a light behind me, so I was standing in front of it. Um, yeah, I, I do like the brightness of them. There's no splitting, um, but it just feels really thick and sticky. It's very bubbly. Um, so those are negatives to me, as well as my cells. I can't get them to stay nice and round and separate. They just want to bump into each other. The only thing I could do was thicken them up again, like even thicker. I guess I could try that. Um, 
Yeah. It wouldn't be a mound anymore on a mound. It would be a mountain on a mountain. They're really thick. All right, I will just take you down for a very quick close-up and then I'll shut up and stop talking. I've done four pours today. I did the two clouds and then I've done these two. So the background's really pretty. Look at that orange against that bluey turquoise I made. But you can see my cells aren't that clear. Like, you know, there's colours inside colours, but they're not they're not round. There's a few good ones, but overall they're just kind of bumping into each other. I'm very critical, I know, of my own work. I, I just know the sort of cell that I want. And then if I don't get it, I just think, oh, that's not very attractive. But it's still pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's still pretty. It's just not exactly what I was hoping to achieve with these better quality paints. There's always that light glaring there. I'll do this so I get rid of it. There we go. All right, I'll leave it there. Um, hope you've learned something anyway. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And I'm going to do, might try these colours if I can. I don't think I've got the exact same colours in the Mott Mart. But I might have a go and just see what the difference is. All right, I'll see you for the next one then. Bye for now.